Hello viewers. Welcome to today's show, The Executive. I remain your uncle person, Mr. Sennett. On today's show, we have this great man. Um, you may know him. He's not a person, but... Sir, no me meet you. Okay, um, thank you, Mr. Anko. I am His Excellency, Senator, Chief Doctor, Engineer, Professor Charlie, the OON, GCFR, GCE, yeah! ICPC, yeah! EFCC of the yeah! Federal Republic. Thank you. Thank you, too, sir. Uh, all these names for you. Oh my god, this is. Well, it's good, it's good. Alright, sir, so, uh, let's move into uh, the show proper. Uh, you know, 2023 is is coming by, it's, it's getting close. Uh, you know, distance time, politicians will start campaigning. Sir, are you contesting for any position come 2023? Yeah, um, 2023, we, I am coming to contest. Probably for the office of the president of uh, this uh, great nation. You know, we, we started this politics from the inception of democracy. And you know, when you are in politics, you will remain in politics until you get tired. This is business! Hey. So I am still um, able and capable to contest. So I am contesting. Oh, that's very good. I, I feel so happy to hear that you are contesting come 2023. Uh, my next question is, what do you say about youth involvement in politics? You know, these days, uh, youths are mainly seen in, in, in this country's uh, politics. It's, it's rare you see a youth who is a leader of uh, maybe being a local government chairman or a House of Assembly member or even becoming a governor. Please, sir, what do you have to tell about youth involvement? Well, I don't believe what to say, like, um, the youth are not involved in politics. Am I not a youth? Do I look old? Even as uh, at my uh, 75, I am still a youth because I am still capable. What do we see as youth? So who, somebody who is still able and, uh, I mean, capable. So I am still capable. Shut up, chief. The youth, um... I'm not really interested in politics, but uh, the youths are in politics, so... So maybe you misunderstood me. Uh, I'm not saying that youth are not in politics, I'm saying that there are few. There are few. Okay, okay, let me, let, let me, let me bring it down to this other question. Um, do you think youth of these days participate fully in Nigerian politics? My dear, how do you expect the youth to be involved in Nigerian politics? when they have things that take their attention away. The youths are more interested in social media and other things. So, um, their interest in politics is very low. So, and uh, we, we, the, we, the elders, are capitalizing on that to give them what they want. And uh, we take care of what belongs to us, which is power. Yeah, is God, oh. So, you, you don't really uh, think that the youth uh, are not carried along? They are carried along. Shut up! But uh, you look at where the interest is lies. When I look at you, one would think you are mature. But your brain is like that of a fowl. That is the problem. They are not interested in the real politics, but they want to you know, follow us who are already who are fully into uh, politics. Thank you. So, uh, Honorable Charlie, do you, do you by any way saying that uh, the, the big the bulldozers in politics now use our youth to achieve their goal. Are you in any way saying something like that? Um, I am not really saying that we are using the youth, but the youth made themselves available to be used. We do how, can, how can you um, give the youth just a peanut, peanut, 1,000 naira, 500 naira to, to carry ballot bus for you in exchange of his life, wow. risk his life, wow. and he will wholeheartedly accept that so they are the ones using themselves and we we see them as tools we can use to achieve our our dream so that's why we use them as talks political talks and uh, 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 to to cause uh, uh, chaos i mean cause troubles during the election all right sir uh, what is your advice to the youth well my advice to the youth is they have to wake up 
they have to rise up to their challenges. They should forget about the distractions of social media and face their future because the future of this nation, of this great nation, is in their hands. Very soon, our own generation will leave, and if they don't get involved now, how will they know how to uh, take this, take up the challenges facing this nation? So they should forget about the distractions. A, a lot of them are just uh, after chasing money, chasing money uh, in any means, and um, a lot of them, a lot of uh, uh, social media influencers are influencing their lives. So we need them to be involved on the things about this nation, about politics. Get involved in politics. Thank you. All right. I, I appreciate your comment, sir. You, you've really hit the hammer on the nail. Okay. Uh, this is still your show, the executive. What me here is Honorable Charlie. Once again, sir, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, youths out there watching this program, you've heard what Honorable Charlie has said. Say no to violence. Say no to being used by the bulldozers in politics these days. Say no to collecting bribes. Say no to collecting money to kill another politician. Support your fellow youth who is aspiring for a position and let this place be a better place. Let the youth be given opportunity to take charge the affairs of this state and this country. I still remember my humble self, Mr. Sent.